Hi everyone, in today's video I will show how to activate online archive or in place archive in exchange online and create a custom retention policy. Every mailbox has the default exchange retention policy that is automatically assigned and when you start the online archive that default policy gets activated. The policy does the following. Move items that are two years or older from a user's primary mailbox to their archive mailbox and move items that are 14 days or older from the recoverable items folder in the user's primary mailbox to the recoverable items folder in their archive mailbox. Now, let's say you don't want to use the default policy and you want something more aligned to your company's retention policy. And I will show you how you can do it. Right now, I'm here in Exchange Admin Center. And if you wanna know how to get here, you log into Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and from here, you can select Exchange and it will take you here. First, I'm going to check the default policy. So if I click Mailboxes, and if I select the user, under Mailbox Features, you will see the retention policy's default MRM policy. Now I'm going to change and create my own custom policy. To do that, go Compliance Management. Under Retention Tags, you will see a list of policy that is already there. I'm going to click on the plus button and select Apply it automatically to entire mailbox. You can pick a name, so I will call this one month to move archive. For the retention action, I will select Move to Archive. You can do a permanently delete or you can delete and allow recovery, but for in this case, I will select move to archive. Retention period is in days. I will select 30 and I will select save. Now I created my custom retention tags. So I'm gonna go to retention policies. As you can see, there's a default MRM policy. Now I'm going to click on the new. Over here, you can name anything. I will name the user's mailbox or whoever I'm applying the retention. I will select the plus button and under select retention tags, I will select my retention tag. I'm going to go to dashboard, mailboxes, from mailbox features. Now I have default MRM policy and my custom policy. So I'll select this one. Then I will enable in, in place archive. And that's how you can enable in place archive and create a custom retention tag or retention policy. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.